They should be called like. Well, no, they're called hot flashes because <clears throat> should, while hey, you think that the room is hey, cold as hell, as you flash. said, hey. hell is hot. That's what we going through. Well, you know the what? hot flash. Well, then say call them hell flashes. That, that's what because, it feels like. Because that's what it feels like. It's freezing. Freezing, babe. That's what we're going to talk about today. Let's, let's do it. <laughs> Welcome to Fridays with Tab and Chance. I'm Tabitha Brown. I'm a woman of a certain age going through perimenopause. And this is my husband. I'm Chance. What's up? Honey, bring the beat in. <laughs> Fridays. Fridays. Fridays with Tab and Chance. I just got hot Fridays, Fridays, Fridays with Tab and Chance. All right, we listen. Since somebody want to talk about it, okay? Women all over the world, okay? <clears throat> Jr. Chance. What? <clears throat> we go through what is called menopause. Okay, and I think that that term, and I've said this before, means men. Oh, pause. pause. Okay, y'all better pause on this little conversation. We are having. pausing. The the thing is this. Let me get into we, it. We have to pause <clears throat> at night when it's sixty eight degrees, and we got to go to the bathroom. Okay, let's talk about it. So <clears throat> first of all, I'm. <clears throat> The doctor claim I'm in perimenopause, which is the early stage. Let me get my phone out because I want to give the terms and things correctly for the people who may be watching. Some people are saying, Tab, you know, like Chance. Chance had no idea what menopause was. He had no idea. So let's first go into menopause definition. The definition of menopause is a, it's a natural decline in reproductive hormones when a woman reaches her 40s <clears throat> or 50s. <clears throat> menopause is signaled by 12 months since last menstruation, right? I still have menstruation, which is why they say you're in perimenopause before it begins. Like when the, maybe you start to see signs of your, your, your menstruation not being as normal as it used to be. You know what I'm saying? Um, maybe you start to get hot flashes. Let's talk about <clears throat> it. Let's see. Let's talk about the symptoms. The very first thing it says, common symptoms include hot flashes, vaginal dryness. There are also uh, maybe sleep dis disturbances. I, I, I do wake up at 3 o'clock, but I've also did that most of my life. But I'd be waking up now like, and can't go back to sleep, okay? Um, and the combination of these symptoms can cause anxiety or depression, right? A woman is going through a full-on hormonal change. All right, she going through it. There's a whole lot. Cause see, what's happening is this uh, system that the good Lord blessed us with is breaking itself down. This system that 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 we use to bring y'all here. I don't know where. Okay. I, I don't okay, know where man. I coming from? All this six, said this is, system to it bring was hot. And this. It was cold. You know when it was. And you know it when, is freezing. And you know when it was cold. When I when I had an, uh, anemia when I was pregnant with your with your daughter. Honey, I was cold then. I was cold. Okay. I'm I got cold. cold. You know what was cold. You know I, when I was cold when I had to eat them ice chips because uh, I couldn't handle no food <clears> when I was in labor with your children. Okay, that's it. I was cold. Okay. So you want to talk about somebody being cold? <clears> your little uh, what is it? Six hours, six hours of a little air conditioning being on at nighttime. Six little hours. Can you tell the people how? What's the temperature? Because is okay. it is it safe? Is it safe? That's is it. Hold on, hold on. Because you 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 didn't get him no backstory. Okay, you, me, me and Jr. and me. And you, no, they you, got the backstory because the camera was rolling. No, we was talking play it, about play the backstory, Jr. We was talking about waking up in the middle of the night. In the freezer. The freezer bag? With a full bladder and trying to tough it out. <laughs> Look at your <laughs> you got, We need to have a camera on you. Got jail. a full bladder and afraid to go to the bathroom and pushing yourself and saying, I can make it two more hours because it's freezing. The rollover technique to see if you can't squeeze 30 more minutes out. 
to tuck your knees up to your shoulders and see if you can't get 15 more minutes. Because it's, to, because it's to hold in your, your bladder to hold so in that urine, get... so you ain't gotta so you ain't gotta get out into that freezing cold temperature. That's how we say it. I respect women. I respect what you've done bringing my kids here. I understand. I got you know. I I, I I'm trying to show empathy and and sympathy for your your situation and be respectful of the the female uh, uh, gender. But I'm just saying <clears throat> that room is cold as hell. It's freezing, sixty-eight degrees, and I think hot flashes is an understatement. I think they need to come up with something else because he, we, because hold on, I'm, I, this is all I'm saying. They need to come up with something to to give us men in our ignorance a better understanding than hot flashes. I think they should be called equator flashes. They should be called like well, no, they're called hot flashes because <clears throat> should, while hey, you think that the room is hey. cold as Hell, Volcano as you flash. said, hey. hell is hot. That's what we going through. Well, you know the it. hot flash. Well, then say call them hell flashes. Then. Yeah, that's what because, it feels like. Because that's what it feels. it's freezing, freezing, babe. Absolutely freezing. Everything else, you know, all that other stuff. Been kind of getting prepared for that. Just you know, being with you all these years. Now this new thing that you got going on right here with this. I, I no. consider peeing on myself. Just like, I mean, I'm just going to pee. <laughs> you going to pee in the bed back? <laughs> J- 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 man, I'm about to, boy, I ain't getting out of this bed. J- <laughs> I'm not getting out. It is freezing, Tab. So this is the thing, okay? The, for me, I started getting hot a couple <clears throat> years ago at night, actually. I think mine really probably started maybe four years ago. When I first started having, I think, my hot flashes. A little bit. But in these last six months, you think, it now is every night. Because it used to be like random. And that could have been anxiety like <laughs> years ago. And I'm going to tell you, too. Excuse I me. see you sneaking up. I see you when you go to the bathroom. You pushing that thing one, two more Babe, you sleep. No, I'm not. It's freezing. I saw you do it the other night. JR, she went to the restroom, came back, and I seen her go. One, two. <laughs> She keep dropping it. She gonna burn our dang old AC unit out. It's working too hard. <laughs> I saw you. Because you thought I... I didn't see you. I'm sitting there, look, they are like this, tucked under the covers, everything. Why and I you see... watching me? You should be because asleep. I see you. I'm sitting you there. You should like, be asleep. It's two o'clock in the it's morning. It's freezing. What's what I'm trying to tell you? Put the weighted blanket on. That's no, what we have. No. <laughs> They are, she's sneaking by the, by the unit. And I see her. She, she coming back from the restroom. She Because you be pushing look, it up and I got to no, push I it don't, back. No, I don't push it up. Trust me, I'm not pushing it up. It's just, you. she walking by and she going. I see her look and then she goes, one, two. You do, she do it twice. She do it. See your phone? You, you, you. She do it twice every time. Pop, pop. And I see her. I'm because like, you got to do it. Because the first time it don't go down. So you gotta, <laughs> yes, it does. No, no, it don't. Yes, it does. You got to do it twice because the first time it's just like to, to, All right, to so activate it. So be honest. Be honest. The other day, I'm mean, going to think it was like two or three nights ago. Mm-hmm. You were surprised when you went and looked at the temperature. What, did, what was the temperature? 67. I told you. I told you. See? And I like still, to keep it. I think fair, right? It was still I try to put hot. It at, I try to put it at like 70, 71, right? And I'd be like, man, me and Tab, I think she'll be cool if it's 70, 71. But right? no, but you had like and, 73. And then I try to make, I take into account, she's going to push it down two notches. I always do that, right? I always do that. At night, when I see, if, if, she fall, if she's already falling asleep or look like she's going to fall asleep quick, I will, when she's not looking, I'll <clears> put <throat> that thing at like 72. Then, because I know she's going to wake up. She's going to wake up at least once in the night and she's going to hit it, right? <clears throat> the other night, I left it. It was at... <laughs> it was at 70. It was at 70. She hit it to wake up and she was she was saying something to me. And I was like, babe, I have not touched it. I have not done it, anything it, to it. Because I wake up say, and, and, it's, and she said, I heard her say it under her breath. Oh, it's at 67. <laughs> I said, oh, it's at No, because what happened was I woke <clears throat> up that morning and I was in my closet. When I came out, I was like, it's kind of cold in here. And I wanted to look at it. I was like, oh, the air's on 67. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he was like, I told you. 
You try to kill me. Because <laughs> I didn't really, because also it's dark. So that's why I don't know. Also, I'm hitting it twice because the first you see, how she's trying to get it. you see how she's trying to pull this together? Listen, the first time you tap it, it ain't, it ain't going down. So I had to tap it tap. twice to it make sure that it goes down. Why is it not going down? Listen, babe, listen, listen. Listen to me, husband. <laughs> listen to me. And it be dark, so I can't see if it did it or not. So I'm hitting it to hear if the air cuts on. Yeah. And so when I hear it cut on, I say, oh, okay. So she pushes it, it until she hears the AC. I'd be like, okay, in. click. Cause, hey, what you rather me do? Turn the light on to wake you up, or turn I'm already wake? I'm, I'm already, I'm awake anyway. But the other thing is, I have to use the bathroom a lot at night. I be peeing throughout the night. Mm. It don't bother me when I get up. I know it don't bother you. <laughs> but babe, <laughs> and then Jr. Oh, look, if I wake up and I ain't ready to talk, I ain't ready to get engaged in some in depth dream that she didn't have. Wait, my, wait. I I done woke up on the wrong side of the bed. I done froze. <laughs> I done froze. I, she yeah. ain't taking it into account. All these 35 trips that she done made, shaking the bed, hitting the, hitting the thermostat. So. I was hey, and if I wake up and I'm a little groggy, oh, don't, hey, God forbid me clearing my throat or. She running from me like I'm bringing sickness in there. She not. This whole week, JR, I've been like this. <clears throat> and you know what she do? Mm. Get away from me. <laughs> JR, we in the car. I clear my throat. Because <sighs> that's she said, different. She said, mm. but you ain't taking into account. I'm, it's 68 degrees and I'm up there freezing. But you that, ain't you ain't playing no role. But that don't get, that. you know, you don't get no cold that way. You that ain't how cold it's gotten. That's I don't get stopped up that way either, huh? No. That's how you how you get how germs? Much? <laughs> working with them kids. Okay. Every day. You gonna put this on my kids? I'm just saying. I if it, it only happens during the night, right? They are. I get world. Mm-hmm. I only get stopped up during the night. My nose. I wake up. My nose running. <laughs> Hey, but she good. Though. I do. She some, wake up. Tal wake up every now, morning. I will say sometimes I, the tip of my nose do get cold. But let me tell you how this, and this is God honest truth, how this we can come to a good <clears throat> medium and this can help you. Okay? Let me put my foot up under your leg because the heat will warm your whole body up. So now I'm supposed to be cold. <laughs> You won't be cold. Cold on a full block. Or slide over to my side and cover. Nose running, and I gotta have your foot up under me. So, or, I'm, hey, that sounds like a good night's sleep for me. Slide over there with me and let my body heat warm you up. So, come make you so more I, comfortable. If you say I'm not gonna be comfortable though, I'm gonna probably be hot, but I will sacrifice to make you warm. I will sacrifice and let you get up, up under me so that you can be warm under there. I'm good. Now you might have to change your drawers. I just deal with the because the sweat that be coming off my body might make you your drawers wet. <laughs> you might have to, you, your little satin pajamas might be soaking I wet by the time. I'm just gonna stay where I'm at. I tell you what, them little satin pajamas don't be holding in no heat neither. Well, you know, oh, the, okay, we can get you some flannels. You want some flannel pajamas? We can get you some flannel pajamas. Y'all send Chan some pajamas. No, don't. Any pajama that. companies out there, send Chan. You want long johns? Mm-mm. Y'all can get Chan. Send Chan some warm pajamas. I don't want it. I don't want it. <laughs> you want something with the feet in them? No. Uh-huh. Y'all send Chan the onesie feet in pajamas. They'll be great for the holidays, great for the winter time. I don't want it. <laughs> you can wear pajamas. <laughs> That'll want keep it. you warm. I don't want you it. Remember the no, little I'm snuggle good. things? No, I'm cool. You sure about it? Because no, I want to help you. No, I'm good. Because listen, I, 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 I no, hate I'm to good. tell you this, but it says here the menopausal transition most often begins between ages 45. You think that this is maybe why Granddaddy and, and Granny slept in different rooms? <laughs> no. <laughs> you don't think so? Because they was Granny had already had her menopause by the time that He was, probably got comfortable over there all them years. <laughs> 
Maybe he didn't want her feet under him. Maybe he didn't want to deal with the AC. <clears throat> did y'all did y'all ever have parents or grandparents, depending on how old y'all are, and they slept in separate rooms, even though they were married? You you did too, JR. Yeah. It's like when they get they got old, they, they slept in different rooms. This might have something to do with it. You think that's what you No, think? seriously, it may. I'm, I'm you want to start going in the um, guest room and sleeping? Oh, you want to... <clears throat> I mean, no. Nah, oh, you ready nah, to leave? No. Go on in there. You go on in there. You better not put a toe, not even a toe on the bed where you want something. If you leave me to go sleep in that guest room because you go, mm. don't, don't, don't come in there when you feel hot. It could be like, don't come in there when you're hot and bothered. We okay? Could, it could be, uh, mm -mm. let me set it up like a whole Yeah, I will. Thing. Listen, seven days out of the month until this menopause thing, you can go sleep in that guest room. You want to, I sleep on your side. I stretch on out. I think because you the person. Oh, you trying to? Oh, you want to put me out the room? <laughs> what? Well, you automatically assumed that I was supposed to leave the room. Why, why you the one with the problem. Leave? I ain't got the problem. I got the problem. <laughs> <laughs> you got the issue. I got the issue. Yes, you. This started because you can't go to the bathroom. You trying to hold it. You in fetal position. You shivering. You got the issue, babe. I don't have the issue. I'm all right. Okay. 67, 68 degrees. It's fine for me. So it's my problem. Yes, babe, because you're saying you don't want to get up in the cold. If I go to the guest room, I'm still going to have the AC on. Yeah, you can control your own unit in there. I can do that in our bedroom. <clears throat> so you want me to have to leave? Hmm? Huh? Let me tell you. I'm going to get to this. I'm going to tell you what it says. It says... How long is it supposed to last? That's what I'm about to read to you. It says, menopause transition often <clears throat> begins between the ages of 45, hello, and 55. It mm. usually lasts about seven years, mm. but can last as long as 14 years. So you know what, what somebody could actually send me? What? You know, I, I, could, I could use a deal. Oh, not, not the flannel. Oh what? Well, maybe a flannel deal, like some, maybe you can... Some flannel pajamas for me? Like oh, what you want to do with pajamas? I don't really, I don't, I don't do well with pajamas. You know how, you know how but I you like been, to sleep. But you been like wearing them. the satin ones? Yeah, oh. but they shorts. I can't do, like, you know. But, well, babe, but if you cold. What, what, yeah, what? I can't do So long. tell me this. I can't get covered, but some sleep aid. You got the, the, the stuff to help you go to yeah, sleep? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I need, like, that on deck. <clears throat> I need it on deck. Cause I just need to so get, if you just night, sleep, I ain't gonna get no sleep seven years. So you gonna go into hibernation? No, I'm saying I just need to be able to if it, if I have something in the system that I can shut down, you know, can help me get back to sleep. But it says that the the symptoms unbearable. Sometimes the symptoms can just last for a few months, but then they can, the symptoms can also last for up to ten years. Mm -hmm. So so it's unpredictable. <clears throat> Which I, I I listen, man. I'm here with you. You know, I appreciate my kids. I love you. You know, I'm 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 I'm, I'm here with you. I'm gonna stay in the bedroom with you and everything. I just need to get a get a, give me a, some kind of endorsement deal with like cold prescription, um, some because my nose. So I'm let's talk right, about like it. I'm stopped up right now. What <clears throat> part of your body is cold? Let's address that. What part of your body you mean, feels like cold? During the night? Yes. Every inch. Freezing. Your face every, cold? Every part of my body. Your hands? Cold. But, but let's talk about this. What's so crazy is my body be hot. But when I be like, babe, let me touch it, my hands are like cold. Your, your hands are freezing right now. My mama's hands was always yeah, cold. cold now. Come on, JR, stick your hands up here. Just put your hands right here, JR. Just they, for one, they, both of y'all, put your hands up here. But Feel, they, tell me not. if our hands are cold. Tell, do it, do it, do it. They're not cold. Dude, you don't understand what cold touch. They are, they're not cold. <laughs> don't touch, touch it right here. They're not. Them hands are they cold. They're not. Freezing. Tip. <laughs> See if my hands feel cold to you. No, don't don't do her hand. Touch her right here on the. I'm gonna right touch. No, 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 I'm no, gonna no, touch no. you on your. Tiff, right there. Touch her hand. <laughs> See her face. Your hands are cold. I tell are they you cold? That. Yes. Do, touch right here, Jr. Let her touch you right here. Your hands. Let me touch your arm, Jr. Jr. Put your hand right here. Put your hand right here. T touch him right there. Touch. 
Yeah. yeah, I told you. I told you. Her hands are cold. It's because I have a warm heart. Yeah. So now, what I, what now I, go ahead and finish what you was going to say. That's what I'm saying. I don't understand how I'm so hot, but you always talk about my hands is cold. They, for, I'm not the... I'm not the only but one. But my body be hot. So know. maybe, you know what? I'm going to start sleeping naked, and I'm going to just put my hands like this on my body, like, and try to cool myself up. But then if I sleep naked, you won't, you won't get off of me. Damn. Stop this. I'm just saying, if I sleep naked, I'm already half naked when I'm asleep. <laughs> but what you want me to do, babe? I, look, I didn't want you to do nothing. You the one got real sensitive about me and Jr. having this discussion. Me and Jr. Are trying to find a solution to be supportive. What was y'all solution? Y'all was trying to find because all I found, oh, see, all I saw y'all find was laughter. No, I said <laughs> Jr. I be on the brink of peeing. I be trying to hold in. I be trying to hold a pee in because it be so cold. I be thinking about man. I got to do a quick sprint to the bathroom and get back to the bed without wake waking myself up. And Jr. bust out laughing. <clears throat> and then you got offended and decided that today's topic was going to be about menopause. And then you just opened up the show in this rant. <clears throat> and I'm well, just trying to be a supportive husband. I was telling JR how to, you know, seeing if he could talk something back to me to say, hey, what, what do you see. do, JR, as a supportive husband? When, you know, when you got to pee in the middle of the night and it's Antarctica in the bedroom and you, you got about 10 steps between you and the toilet. And, and and so what did what was Jr. What was we didn't your get solution? Because Jr. was laughing, and then you got mad and told him to push record. <clears throat> okay, well let's talk about it then. What are y'all solution? I'm just because be it's, it's a lot of men that's probably want to want to know. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep doing what I do. Usually what I do I try <clears throat> to roll over and see if I can't squeeze 15 more minutes of good sleep out. Then I roll back over and tuck my legs, and I might get another 45 minutes. Then when it becomes that's not a, a solution. That is the only solution. Then when it becomes unbearable and you feel it about to come out. Yeah, then, why are your nose running? <laughs> then you... Your wife had it cold you, in the house. That's why your nose running, JR? Then you quickly jump out and you hit the little tiptoe sprint. And you tip -toe. Why are you on your tiptoes? Because if your feet hit the ground, if the room is cold. We have when heated you, floors in the bathroom. They ain't working. It's only in one spot where that is. But from that, from that to the heated portion of the bathroom, babe, it's freezing. <clears throat> you can't be sensitive about this. I'm not talking. sensitive. You get all sensitive The other thing about, about menopause is that women's emotions I, can be a little <clears throat> different. I, I could be very emotional and, and, and my feelings could be hurt. You know, what do you think about that? If you hurt my feelings, want to leave me in the bed or send me to the guest room? <laughs> Strong emphasis on sin. I didn't say that. You did. I said. You roll it back, Jr. Just see send what it said. You. I said you want me to be the one to go and no, see. I see. You, you I sent said me. you could go because you're the one with the problem, and I want you to be happy. <laughs> I want you to be happy, oh, baby. Oh yeah. Mm. But you know what? When mm. when when you had any issues, I, I never. I, I didn't complain, baby. I'm not complaining. You heard you complaining about complaint. being cold. No, I didn't complain about it being cold. We just mentioned you know that it's cold. You know how many years you sweat in the bed and I just dealt with it? And I never complained when you used to have the air up. And I used to be cold. Remember when I used to be cold? Mm-hmm. And I used to want the heat on. You know what? <laughs> Go ahead. Talk about it. Walk yourself right down that path. I used to want the heat on and you wouldn't turn it on. <laughs> what? Because <laughs> you was... Hot. <laughs> okay. Did okay. Let's let's go back to <laughs> no. Go talk. Let's talk more. Three let's, days ago. Let's talk more about them days when it, when you needed the heat on. I used to be cold. And I, you would turn the heat. No, on. you wouldn't let me turn it on. You'd be like, "Baby, we don't need that heat on. Now get you an extra blanket." That's what you would say. Now, also, <clears throat> true or false? You know, I have hot flashes, right? Mm -hmm. Did you or did you not have the heat on the other day? Three days ago, knowing that I'd be hot and have you hot mean flashes. Down here in the big room? Yes. It, yes, I did turn the heat on. What was the temperature that week? It was in the 70s. It was not. Babe, we're in Los Angeles. 
It was in in in. We didn't October. have a cold front. We didn't have a cold front. What was the that cold week. front back? And early in what the, was the it was, it was it was it was in the high sixties that week. Early in the day, I turned the heater on, but the heat was on low seventies. It was just on break seventy four. The, just to break the chill. Just to break the chill in this room, right? <clears throat> and and y'all know when <clears throat> people get old. You you ever have an old grandma <laughs> right or old <laughs> or old aunt? And then you go to go see them in some time and they got wood in the stove. Like no, they is hot. Yeah, it wasn't that. It was this my group, this finna be, this finna be you. You getting nah, you a man of a certain age. You starting to I show like, it. I like for it to be cool. But man, you had it on I 74 like for heat. And it was high 60s outside. I had it. I was breaking the chill. And I, I might have forgotten to turn it back off. I walked in here. <clears throat> First of all, we was laying on couch. 74, 74 and I for, the, for the record, is not uncomfortable. 74 is not like, whew, somebody turned. That's, that is the indication right there. That it's something wrong with you. But you had the heat on 74. When the house should normally stay at like 70. I probably did it because I knew you was going to come down here and hit it two times anyway. <laughs> But you tried to act what like did you didn't. do? What did you do? I was sitting here and I said, hey, man, it's hot, man. You was like, I feel all right to me, babe. <laughs> Trying to make me think I'm it's me. <laughs> then I get up and I walk by, I said, man, you got the heat on to my Oh yeah, I did have it on earlier. I got a freeze in the bedroom. Baby, we got blankets here on, on the couch. That's what the blankets is for, so you can. I ain't about to do that. Snug, snuggle up, right, but I'm right. telling you right now, you want to stay warm, we can cuddle together more often. Mm. I can lay lay my foot up under you a little bit, just to warm your legs up. I don't have no problem with that. That ain't for me to sleep. I'm, so, all I some need, people do this, sleep This around the house? No, I can't sleep like that. You know that. I, I just need, I bet just do what you need to do. I'm here with you. Ten whole years. Keep it up. The Lord gonna make me go through it for fourteen just because you're cutting up. I might be done with mine in seven though. Who knows? Maybe I'll be one of the lucky ones. It it be it be whatever you need. Take your time. When you got your vasectomy, did you feel any? uh, Did your body go through any? Like, do you remember having any type of like hot flash or cold or did you? Jr. Did you either of y'all feel anything different in y'all body when y'all went? Y'all was I feel like this is a setup question. No, it's a real question. I feel like you are about to be real petty. But no, I'm asking, but, do you but, recall but, <clears throat> anything changing when your reproductive system was altered? Do I feel like anything changed? Yeah, did you feel like, oh, your mood shifted or you, you know, became more emotional or that, you know, you got hot or cold, <clears throat> did anything happen to you? Is it, let's look it up and see if there's any side effects. Of do you want me to answer it or do you need to look it up? No, I want you to answer you and JR to tell me what y'all felt. Um, I just felt, um, two days of not necessarily the uh, pain, Mm-hmm. But just a little discomfort, mm-hmm. a little ache, a little ache. Yeah, yeah. And uh, then after that, I was cool. You know, cool. I was good. Yeah, hmm. I know it's about two days, Gerald. When you had your vasectomy, about two days I'm of discomfort. Tell you right now, just the way you said two days, <laughs> I know you. You're not. You're not being. Listen. No, you, babe. <laughs> I'm just wanting to know. You, know, you knew the answer to that, but you just trying to get it on record in front of the people. Go ahead, finish your tab. Say what you're gonna say. That was a surgery though for y'all. Yeah. That was a surgery. Mm-hmm. So um did did it did it affect how anything else worked? Or did it still work all right? Yeah, it still worked. I, I I was gonna say it did still work all right. Yeah, so it didn't get dry. No. Oh. The skin of it didn't start getting dry and weird mm-hmm. feeling. Mm-mm. <laughs> okay, okay. And you want hot? After about you didn't want to cry about it a little bit. Well, you can't. You can't have sex for two, 
two weeks after the vasectomy. Mm -hmm. And was, that was painful. I was real hot. And I wanted to cry about it. For two weeks. <laughs> I can play your game, Dad. Do y'all understand? I, I can play your game. I was however, real hot. However, <clears throat> I do think while we women go through our... Tab, I was not complaining. I know you're not, man. You I just want to put the people, this. I just want for the people to know. Yeah, but you, I got know it. you, you not. know how your fans are. They're going to be no, ready to jump on me they and they are. They're not going to jump on me. They're stand by. They're going to be in your they, DMs they going not. off. All these I just fans. want to, all the people Leave know. Leave Auntie Dab alone. That as we go through this <clears throat> stage, right, all love and, and, and we just joking and stuff. However... As women, we go through the stage for, as I say, it could be seven up to 14 Four years, and right? Um, and men don't necessarily have that, they don't have menopause, right? But as y'all get old, things will begin to happen in y'all's own way, you know? Mm -hmm. So uh, if y'all want your wives to be sympathetic to y'all later on. I'm sympathetic. Don't, don't do that. Uh-uh. You let us have our AC on. Mm. Okay, cause we hot. <clears throat> okay, all right. So <clears throat> one day, <clears throat> as Hope Mama said, y'all might become Pac Man. <laughs> 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 and uh. you gonna still want us to love and support y'all. So, mm. uh, it does happen, and it is a normal <laughs> thing. <laughs> It's a normal thing <laughs> for for women, for us, and then for men. When y'all start having y'all's issues as y'all age, it's all normal. And so the hope and prayer is that we all we all have a life partner that we can deal with and laugh about it, mm -hmm. and talk junk about it, lose sleep about it. See, I was trying to end it on a light note, but oh, baby, I'm just saying it's the truth. I do lose sleep because it also causes uh, women yeah. not to have good sleep. That's what I was talking about. I, you know what else I'm going to look up and see how many um, women have snapped and killed their husbands during menopause or choked them out in their sleep when they turn that heat on. I wonder if that's ever happened. I'm sure that hmm. domestic violence, the numbers probably go up around 45. I'm sure, yeah. Go ahead, man. Keep it up. <laughs> Close out the show. Keep it up. <laughs> well, that's it. We love y'all. Anybody else getting hot? <laughs> y'all hot? I got on all black. Anytime I wear all black, know that it's going to be a different type of show. Uh, but yeah, y'all <clears throat> stay cool out there. Do the best that you can. And uh, women, be easy on yourself. And on your husband. That's what I man. was gonna say and on that AC unit, but you know what? Hey ladies, turn it down. Let's all see if we can what 60 feel like tonight. How about that? Can we touch and agree on 60, ladies? Yeah? Let's touch and agree on 60 degrees on the AC go, tonight. Go ahead and blow that AC okay. unit up. <laughs> if you think you if you think you're lonely now. <laughs> I'm waiting until tonight. <laughs> y'all go on by y'all business. <laughs> Had a most ahead. amazing day. But if y'all can't have a good one, don't you dare turn that heat on and go messing up nobody else's, all right? Very good. We love y'all. Bye. Really, babe? Thank y'all for watching. And don't forget to click here for more episodes. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Very good. <laughs>